celebrate good times got on <laughs> y'all are crazy the wwe universe sports world is going crazy right now twitter is going up youtube is going up instagram tiktok is going up everybody is talking about this whole vince mcmahon thing with endeavor and all of the wwe releases it's just like we've gotten a cluster beep of news and information and scandal all going on at one time here and for me it's it's just too much for my brain to compute and handle but it looks as though there have been a big ball of karma to come back around to vince and or we the wwe universe are being played seems as though tko group holdings i k UFC Endeavor and WWE, the new name, seems as though they have come to the decision that Vince McMahon is a liability to the company. Yes, that's right. Seems as though the girls don't want him there anymore, honey. <laughs> We've had over a hundred firings, and today I learned that those firings include WWE superstars like Top Dollar, Mustafa Ali, Dolph Ziggler. Okay, Shelton Benjamin. Oh, that one really hurts. Ah, I'm hoping that Cody Rose could go and make some phone calls, bitch, and get some of these people back on the roster. Please, we need Hit Row, okay? We need Shelton Benjamin to be with this new installment of The Profits and or The Hurt Business if they bring it back. Okay, we need them. Anywho, there has just been a lot going on in WWE, so we're going to go ahead and get into this. I'm going to give you guys my two cents of what I think is going on in these WWE streets. Okay, word. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit me up in the comment section below. Okay, hit that bell notification to be updated and notified on when I upload more content such as this. And we're going to go ahead and get into it. <laughs> I'm the one you pay for, the one you can to see The best of the best rest in the sea You can travel around the world and you will never see Another mother sucker that can miss me There is I'm absolutely no way You're not me for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, or research Is not an infringement of copyright Okay, you guys, so to go ahead and just break this down You know, like real, real, you know, like ratchet and stuff like in y'all face and stuff Look Vince McMahon sold his company to a friend, okay? He thought that the friend was maybe still going to let him do what he wanted to do within the company. Guess what? The friend did not, okay? The rest of the stockholders did not, okay? And pretty much, they are trying to get Vince on up, out of this company because he could be seen as a liability. What do we mean by when we say that? We mean that other investors maybe not will want to invest into TKO Holdings Group because Vince is still a part of it. Why? Because of the scandal! Ooh. Because of the ish that Vince McMahon has done back in the day and here recently too as well with all of the allegations and hush money and all of these things that are involved. So, the people are saying, bitch, we got to go ahead and get Vince to go ahead and sell the rest of his shares to somebody. He got to go ahead and get all of that stuff done. We need to go ahead and buy him out or pay him out or whatever, whatever. We need to go ahead and get his ass on up out of here, bitch. Prayer. <laughs> and a lot of the WWE universe is really given like, yes, we need Vince to go. We need him to leave. We need the WWE to be back like it was. <laughs> And I'm thinking to myself, like, honey, when was it? I mean, this man has been in charge since the very beginning. So it's just like, when w was it back like what? I mean, are you trying to say we'd have some good episodes and he, some good things have happened within the WWE? Yes, because we know that Vince has messed some things up. But it's just like, I really don't think we know what we're going to get with out Vince's input sometimes I honestly am one of those people that think that even though he has not physically been there he has still had an input within his business within his company so that's just me on that I also to think about this as a storyline you guys bitch can we purr I also think about this too as like 
a major storyline, bitch. Like, because <laughs> Vince, I feel like Vince McMahon lived his life as a storyline, period. Okay. <laughs> I really do. So when we really get into it, let's think about this. Okay. Even though TKO Holdings Group is doing this thing with the stocks and all of this stuff, and they want to have this certain image, okay? Let's think about this, y'all. These guys, these people, these big wigs and all this, they really friends at the end of the day. They cool with each other. They lifelong friends. They in group with each other and everything and everything. So, what if, number one, the company needed to be sold to get a new name, to get a fresh new start, to get a new name, and to get a new... You know, energy with it. And then two, what if... Because this has already happened before. What if they tell us Vince is gone, but honey, he not gone? (laughs) What the hell? Uh Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Uh Uh-oh. Wait. Can we rewind it? Yes. This has happened to us before. We have been told a plethora of times that Vince was home. He was not in Stanford, Connecticut. He won't here. He won't there. We were told that other people was in charge, bitch, and come to find out Vince McMahon was right in catering, bitch. Okay, per. <laughs> and did we not gag? We gagged at the fact that for months, for this era, this certain era here, we were thinking that Triple H was in charge. Come to find out he not in charge. And then we got all these titles floating around. It's just like, why can this not happen again? Period. Okay, they know that there's some type of remodeling and damage control that need to be done here okay based off of all the scandal with vince based off of the fans too being so vocal based off the wwe universe being so vocal about what is going on here they know that they there needs to be a rebranding done especially if they want to get the numbers up just like there have been reports now that smackdown is now moving to usa and they're going to be getting more coin so it's just like they know that they have needed to rebrand Okay, what if this is all a rebranding stunt? Period. Let the people think that Vince is out of the picture, is being ran by somebody new, Triple H is in charge all over again, like we thought in the past. And bada bada bing, bada bada boom. Charges mysteriously disappear, everything is back to normal, all the fans are happy. And then out of nowhere, six months later, bitch, guess who walking down the ramp on a Monday Night Raw, a random Monday Night Raw in Stanford, Connecticut? (laughs) Okay, please. It's just, I mean, really, I really feel like either we're being played or there really could be people at play in the background who are saying, bitch, we got to get Vince up out of here, bitch. Imari, Emmanuel, Nick Khan. I don't really know if they any kin. <laughs> no shit, no tea. Per. It's just like, we got to get Vince up out of here. Who could have maybe set Vince up? Or who could have maybe leaded Vince into this path of selling like this anyway? Because at one point in time, Vince was really pushing the sale of the company. It's almost like he came up with reasons he needed to sell the company. Hello, he made all types of excuses as to why the company needed to be sold. But yet, WWE has kind of always kind of like been doing good. If not doing good, WWE has always stayed afloat. I would just say that, period. And so it's just like, could his own family members be playing him? Could his own friends be playing Susan G. Coleman? (laughs) Okay, Triple H, could Nick Khan have thrown Vince McMahon under the bus? Okay, and leak some information. Okay, and that SEC filing revealed. (laughs) Let me stop, bitch. I really don't know. But at the end of the day, I think we really need to ask ourselves, bitch, who is really in charge, bitch? And what's really going on? And if and do the new people in charge know anything about what's going on? (laughs) Do the new people in charge know anything about wrestling? Do they know anything about, you know, how to captivate merch sales? Other than just, I mean, like, do you know anything other than just numbers and stocks? Okay, period. I mean, you know, (laughs) does this person have a background of literally growing up in the ring? Does this person have the knowledge? I mean, it's just a lot, bitch. But there is speculation that this was never about WWE being sold. Okay, at this point, we don't even really know if it had really even been so. I don't know, friends and family, but definitely leave me your thoughts, comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, don't forget. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
Bottom and down, bad in them trench set, ride with that stick. Who 